Welcome to my project ideas. In the previous video, we have seen how to install and set up VS Code for SAP UI5 development. In this video, we'll learn how to set up GitHub and perform various operation that a developer needs on a daily basis. So we have prepared a list of uh, things that a developer should understand. So it's like the very first thing is that he has to set up the GitHub for VS Code. And thereafter, in a slice, the repository, rename branch if required, you know, staging files, then committing those files and create new new branch as per the need. And there is something called gutter. We will showcase how you can utilize it. And there you can compare files and do inline view. And also we'll show how to merge branches, how to publish to GitHub, and finally how to clone a repository. So let's get started with that. So since uh, you are already aware regarding VS Code, and in case you have not like added any folder over here, so what you should do is like you first should uh, visit this uh, file option and open a folder. So we have already opened a project called Podcast, and we are creating this application using SAP UI5. And you can see that we have various uh, data over here. So I will take an example of index.html file, and we'll do the changes over here only. Okay, so the next thing is that we have to install GitHub. So for that in VS Code, you can see in the left side panel, we have something called source control. You can click here and then you can click on download Git for Windows. And open the particular link. Okay, so you are over here and you might be aware regarding what type of uh, Windows you are using. And you can actually install it for uh, iOS also. So I will install the 64 bit. So we have done the setup as per the standard procedure. We have not changed anything else. And thereafter, you can also parallelly open up GitHub in a parallel window and sign into your particular portal. We have installed the GitHub. So it mentions that after installing, we can reload this particular window. So now you can see that we have an option of initialize repository. So once you have installed the GitHub, you can initialize around. So you can click over here. And you see all the files that are there in your particular uh, folder, everything is marked as U. So U stands for untracked. So it's like nothing is there over your GitHub. Fine. And what you want to do is you can, we have initialized the repository. The second thing is we already are in the main branch, right? We can change the branch also, or we can actually rename the branch. So you can open the palette of uh, VS Code by pressing Control Shift P in Windows. And in case of iOS, you can press Command Shift P. And here you can see you have multiple option of GitHub, right? So just write Git and you can see, you can add remote, you can actually perform a various thing. So I will just type rename. So you see the option to rename the branch and uh, you can change it. So main can be become like prod, something like that. So in real scenario, you actually have a production branch, then you have a test branch, and then you have a development branch. So we move from multiple dev branches to the different branches. And even in the dev branch, you have with the private or local branches, like uh, may, there might be multiple developers, and each developer will have their own branch. So the next thing is like you actually create your own branch rather than you know pushing it to the main branch or the main development branch. So we can again rename it to like the other branch or we can actually create our new branch, right? Okay, so now uh, before proceeding, we can actually mark all the changes 
for you know staging section so we can stage all the files that we want to send into like uh, the particular github branch once you have staged everything you can see that it is added to the index file right everything is under index nothing is untracked and now you can write a commit message so it is my first commit and click commit so now you can see an error that uh, your username and user email is not configured with git so if you are also facing the same issue that um, you know git config global user is not recognized then you can simply run this the error that you got like git config global user email and provide your email address and the global username once you provide these thing then you can come back and click on commit and this screen will open up now you can publish the branch sign in with your browser and we can go back and see if our particular repository is available here so yeah you can see in engine to euphoria we have something called podcast and whatever we had the first commit came here right so everything is here now so now this is the prod branch and we do not have a dev branch now and that is something i want to create so i will again go to the palette create branch call it dev and press enter and publish the branch you can come here refresh and you have two branches now prod and dev so now what i will do as a developer i will do my changes in the dev branch and not the prod branch right suppose i can go back to the files go to index html and uh, suppose i am going to add a a line of com comment or i can actually change the title of the podcast system version 2 and click save so if you see this particular section is called gutter and you see a blue line right the so blue line rep represents that you are editing something and if i try to copy this entire line and you know paste it here or suppose uh, i add a new line here test fine so if you see we are not changing anything in existing code then the gutter becomes green and suppose in the existing one i try to delete something i try to delete this style itself and uh, this script so at this particular section which is deleted the particular gutter becomes red so these are the difference between what type of color is appearing and whatever we have done we have not yet like uh, pushed it back to the github yet and open yeah so to compare the old files the developer can come back to the github and click on the changes and then the developer can easily compare what changes have been done So this is the current change that we are doing, and this is the existing original file. Fine. So if I am fine with the changes, what I can do, I can again stage my changes. Mention it as first dev branch commit and click on commit. So once I am done, I can stick my changes. and once i sync the changes then only it is something that will reflect over the branch so i can go back here and refresh so if i check here in the web app in the index file i have something called version 2 right but if i go back to the prod i have the version 1 right so if in case i want to actually merge these two branches what i will do so for that i can actually switch the branch to prod first and here i can see the latest code 
then I can do the palette and do the git merge with which branch I want to merge with the dev branch. Then I can see what new changes will come and I can sync the changes. And this will push the latest changes from dev branch to the master branch or the main branch. And if I go back and refresh, you can see in the prod also we have the latest changes. Right? So if I go back and just uh, see what is remaining, it's like uh, we have done everything. The only thing that is remaining is cloning the repository. I will open up SAP UI 5 project from here. I will click on code, copy this git, do control shift P, and I will type git clone and I will provide the link and press enter. It will ask where exactly I want to save it so I can save it inside the projects, right? Or I can add a new folder called it SAP new UI5 app and select this as a destination. So what it will do, it will uh, get all the code from that repository and push it in the local. Fine, so whatever code is there on that repository, I can see here, it is ZMMPO analysis, same came over here also. So I believe we have covered all the things that we mentioned. We initialized the repository, we renamed a branch, we staged files, we committed all the files, then we created the new branch. We also showcased how to use gutter and compare files and then merge the branches and then publish to the GitHub. And also in the end, you have learned how to clone a repository. So these are the things that we work on a daily basis as a SAP UI5 developer. You can always drop your questions in the comment. Thank you.